So 12 attributes of our Savior, it's who you, it's who you are, Lord. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you'll always be.
It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you'll always be. This is who you are. And this is who you are. Even yet today, this is who you are. your word and your promise, God. It's who you are. It's who you are. Yeah. It's who you'll always be. Yeah. It's who you are. This is who you are.
other religious leader, Lord, ever even claim this stuff. That you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. They never even claimed it. They couldn't. They were weak. You're the king of glory, the king of majesty. So we count them up, Lord, just for our own soul's sake. Number one, who you are is the treasure of the greatest prize. Oh. Number two, you're our healer, giving me life. Number three, you're faithful again and again. That's pretty special. Jesus. Number four, your love never ends. Oh, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Number five, you're sovereign in all that you do. You don't need any man's help. And number six, you're the refuge. And my hope is in you. Number seven, you're mighty. All your enemies fall is pretty special to my heart, Lord, for some reason tonight. Mighty and all your enemies fall. And Jesus, number eight, you reign. You reign over all, yeah. You rule and reign over all. You rule and reign over all. I love you for that, God. It gives me my peace and my shalom. You reign over all, yeah. You're the seeker, Lord. I, it's not beneath you as our Savior to go find the one lost sheep. Because you know the 99 are okay. They're, they're safe. And you go out and seek. Thank you, Lord. Every human being is so valuable. Lord, I, I just, we pray for the end of suicide, you don't know, don't take your life yet, you don't know what's gonna happen. Teenage suicide or people old or young, Lord, he's seeking you. You're a lost sheep, you're created in, in his image, awesome. Number nine, seeker, number 10, savior. Number 11, you're worthy. And number 12, Great is your name, Lord. And so I want everybody take a couple deep breaths. Let everything go because I'm singing the song the Lord gave me years ago, which I almost never recorded. I'm originally from a country music background, C, A minor, F, and G. <laughs> and then I did the Beatles and the Beach Boys when I was 11 to the time I got saved at 19. So I played rock and roll music for a long time. Man. But I wrote this song and said, it's a little bit country there, Kent. I don't... And it went overseas into England. They played it over and over again. I, I got news. I mean, people said, I have loved you. This is thus saith the Lord. With an everlasting love And I have drawn you With my loving kindness Jeremiah 31, 3 And I have loved everlasting love sing it again and I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you thus saith the Lord with 
with my loving kindness, and I have loved you with an everlasting love, and I. I 
I'm still drawing you with my loving kindness today. And I have loved you Woo. with an everlasting love. And I have drawn you with my loving kindness. Come on one more time.
that I'm just grateful for that reminder tonight that you outshine everything else more beautiful more lofty more valuable those attributes we sang about earlier God they're true that you are high and lifted up a deliverer a healer a friend a savior a rescuer we're so grateful for that tonight Lord so grateful that you brought us into your family you washed our sins away so grateful tonight god that you put your spirit inside of us so that we could have a chance to walk with you the ability to walk with you because you dwell inside of us lord we're a grateful people tonight we're a grateful people tonight jesus for what you accomplished what you produced for us, what you accomplished on our behalf. We could go on and on and on, God, about the benefits. The psalmist said that he was going to bless you and not forget any of the benefits. Oh, my God. God, I'm grateful for the benefits tonight. I mean, we, we love you, a bit, not apart from the benefits because it's all wrapped up, but, God, we just love you as a person. We love you as your character. We love you as your, your heart. But God, we don't forget the benefits. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to spend eternity in the lake of fire. I'm going to spend eternity wow. in heaven with you. Yeah. I'm grateful for that benefit tonight, wow. God. I'm so grateful tonight, God. So grateful for the myriads of times you pulled me out of a ditch. The psalmist said you took his feet out of the miry clay put his feet on solid ground God we know what that's like God we've been in the ditch and you picked us up and you put our feet on solid ground God I'm so grateful for that tonight God all of us in this room all of us on the web stream tonight God we've been those that have wept through the night but the psalmist said weeping is in the night but but joy comes in the morning God we're grateful for the benefits We've had disappointment, we've had struggle, we've had defeat, God. But you've raised us up out of those things, God. The psalmist said you stooped down to make us great. God, I'm grateful for the benefits tonight. So grateful, God. So grateful, God. John chapter 4. Wow. Jesus had to pass through Samaria, Samaria, so he came to a city of Samaria called Sychar, near the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, so Jesus, being wearied from his journey, was sitting thus by the well. It was about the sixth hour. And there came a woman of Samaria to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. Oh my God. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Lord, tonight we've been praising your almightiness and your sovereignness and and your, you know, great who you are, God. And tonight we're just reminded that you came as a man in an earth suit that got tired and got thirsty. You were willing, Jesus had said to to uh, be obedient to God, to come and lay down your life, to come sacrifice for us, even to take on the form of a man and then endure the cross on our behalf. Tonight, Lord, I'm grateful. Jesus, you are fully God and fully man, tempted in all ways like us, but yet without sin. 
You are that great high priest that can sympathize with us because you walked here. You did it. You, you overcame it. You lived it. Lord, you know what it's like to walk in this place. I'm so grateful tonight, God, as I think about this small thought, meaning in the story it's a small thought, but it's gigantic, God, that you sent your son and he could become weary. He could become tired. He could become thirsty. It says in John 11, he wept as he was at Lazarus' tomb. He was moved. He was stirred. Many verses talk about being stirred with compassion and, and, and zeal for your house consumed him. There was He had emotions. He was like us in some ways. Lord, I'm so grateful for that tonight. But you sent your son in the form of a man as a servant. Jesus, you came and died on a cross for us on our behalf. You took my sins, it says in Colossians, and nailed them to a tree, taking them out of the way, bearing our sin as the Son of God, Son of Man. You came and did that for us, God. I'm so amazed tonight at this seemingly small part of this gigantic story that you came as a man, lived it out, lived it without sin on our behalf. I give you thanks. I give you praise tonight. Jesus, you pulled it off. I'm so grateful for that tonight, Jesus. You came and covered us, Lord. You came and covered us. You became a man. And you know how we live and feel. Lord, you covered us. Samaritan woman, God, that we're just, we've blown it one too many times. We've failed one, well, maybe hundreds too many times. And sometimes I come near to you, God, and I seek you in prayer, and I think, God, why would you even listen, or why would you ask me? Why would you invite me, God? I've, I've just blown it so much. I've dropped it so often. Jesus, I'm grateful that you reached out to this Samaritan woman like you reached out to me. Wow, God, I'm so grateful tonight that you reached out to her so that I could understand that you would reach out to me. And Jesus answered and he said to her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that says to you, give me a drink, would have asked him and he would have given you living 
water. And Father, I'm praying tonight that we in this room, we on the web stream, we, we in this city would begin to realize the gift of God. That we would begin to understand the power, the beauty, the wonder of the gift of God called Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Tonight, Lord, we, we in the church even, God, many times are self-medicating and we're trying to find anything we can drink, anything we can eat, anything we can experience, God, to fill the gaps, to fill the broken parts, to fill our confusion, God, to settle our nerves, to quiet our fears. But Jesus said to her, and he's seeing to us tonight, if we knew the gift of God and he who speaks we would ask and you would give us living water. Water that wouldn't, we wouldn't be able, we wouldn't have to thirst anymore. Refreshment, satisfaction. We wouldn't have to thirst anymore. We would ask and, and you would give us living water. And so tonight I pray God for a church that would begin to turn and depend on you. Turn and believe in the gift of God. Turn and believe that you can give living water. God, instead of all of our ideas, all of our self-made uh, uh, ideas, our self-made thoughts, our self-made people. God, I'm asking tonight that we might begin to understand and believe the gift of God and about you, Jesus, that we might understand the gift and the one, the one true living God, that we would behold you and see you, call out to you for that living water. Lord, let us not be satisfied with the stuff of this world, the junk of this world anymore, but we would pursue, love, understand the gift of God and the one true living God, Jesus Christ. give to every believer, God, a well springing up to eternal life. So grateful for that tonight. And then they had a conversation and Jesus exposed something of her, the frailty of her humanity. 
And I just want to say tonight, God, I'm so grateful that you know my frailty. You know my myriads of failures. And you're still running after me. You're still pursuing me. Like that song or whatever it was Kent was saying earlier, you leave the 99. God, I'm so grateful that you see me for all of my weakness and warts and failures, and yet you pursue me. Wow. I'm so grateful for that tonight. It, you weren't thrown off by the, fi- the fact that she had had five husbands and was living with another man. You weren't thrown off by that at all. Jesus, you kept pressing in. You wanted to know her. You wanted her to know you. You wanted to rescue. You wanted to deliver. You wanted to set her free. God, I'm grateful that you want to set me free. God, that you keep pursuing me and you push past all the crud in my life. She said, our fathers worshiped in this mountain. And you people say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said to her, woman, believe me, an hour is coming when neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem yeah, will you worship on. the Father. This is the time. You worship what you don't know, and we worship what we do know, for salvation comes from the Jews. But an hour is coming, and Lord now is, yeah. when oh the true God. worshipers will worship the Father in spirit wow. and truth. For such people, the Father seeks to be his worshipers. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in truth. Tonight, first, I just want to say, Lord, thank you. We're grateful. You said an hour was coming and now is. And Lord, oh, yeah. I say now it is. Now it is an hour to worship you. Now it is a time to worship you. And you said here, Jesus said that we should worship the Father. Father, we're grateful to you tonight. Father, we're grateful to you tonight. We love your heart. We love your power. We love your gift of Jesus. We love you tonight. We worship the Father tonight. Oh my God, I'm so grateful you're a father. God, I'm grateful you're a father and not a slave driver. I'm grateful that you're a father and not a foreigner. I'm grateful that you're a father and not a mean taskmaster, Lord. But you're our father. We worship you tonight. We worship a loving, wise, tender, powerful father. Father God, we rejoice in you. We rejoice in you. Father God tonight, we magnify you, God. We magnify who you are. We magnify what you're about. Oh, God, I pray for a restoration of the worship of the Father in me, in this group, in this church, God, across the land, and igniting and igniting and igniting the worship of the Father across the land, across the nation, I pray. And right here in St. Louis, Lord. The time is now. The time is here. The time is Time is here. Jesus, you 
open the gateway to New Testament worship. With your speaking, Lord, you open the gateway to New Testament worship. Wow. You open the gateway to New Testament worship. Yeah. You open the way to New Testament worship, God. And we worship Him. Yes, tonight we worship You. Yeah, my God. Yeah, we worship Him. We worship You. The time is now. The time is here. You open the gateway. New Testament worship here, Lord. Jesus said that the time is coming and now is. Now it is. Now it is. Lord, we've been seeking you for many months now for an outpouring of your spirit in the arena of worship. God, in our own lives and in this city. And so we call upon you tonight, God, for that now is reality in St. Louis, Missouri, Lord. Now, a time is coming in. Now is for an outpouring of the Spirit, a returning of your people, a turning of your people, a turning of your people, God, to the place of worship. Jesus said, the Father is seeking worshipers Father you're seeking out worshipers and so I'm asking you tonight Father call us draw us woo us God into that place of authentic transformative vulnerable expressive worship Tonight, God, we're not asking for a, a like a light touch of your spirit and, and the worship to be a little nicer this Sunday morning. It says here that the Father is seeking worshipers who worship in spirit and in truth. And so I'm asking tonight, God, I, I, I want to volunteer. We want to volunteer. We want to be some of those people that learn how to do that, that walk in, 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 an, in an arena, an identity of worshiping you in spirit and in truth. God, with wow. passion and zeal and expressiveness and, and Lord, uh, just flinging, you know, uh, 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 you know, being respectable aside. And yet, God, a people that worship you in truth because our lives are just rooted deeply around the Word of God and who you are and your character. God, we just don't want to be flamboyant, you know, expressive people. We want to be, God, as crazy and as wild in our expression of worship that you've made available, but rooted, God, rooted in reality of who you are. So I'm seeking you tonight, Father. It says that you're seeking worshipers who will worship in spirit and truth. And we in this room and we on the web stream, we just volunteer. God, would you teach us? Would you mentor us? Would you woo us and teach us and catch us and draw us and move us, God, into that place where we become true worshipers? Jesus said true Worshippers ah. will worship in spirit and in truth. God, we, we don't want to be insincere. God, we don't want to be uh, uh, just superficial in our worship. God, we want to be true worshipers. God, that worship you in spirit and in truth. God, would you awaken our hearts to that and would you bring about this massive move of your spirit in our city. God, where worship and spirit and truth 
would be like that water we read about just springing up to eternal life all over this city in every church, in every ministry, in every Bible study, in every church and congregation, in every house of prayer. God, that true worship, true worship in spirit and truth, true worship, God, would ascend before your holy throne because you deserve it and just because it's right, God, so we call out to you tonight for an outpouring of your spirit. In this arena, God, true worshipers worshiping in spirit and truth. Some of your true worshipers, wholehearted, sincere worship. Some of your true worshipers, some of your true worshipers with sincere hearts and wholehearted worship to you. Some of your true worshippers with sincere hearts, wholeheartedly we worship, we worship you sincere, wholeheartedly, sincere, wholeheartedly we worship you sincerely, wholeheartedly. Some of your true worshippers, sincerely and wholeheartedly, we worship you.
In the 
will sing of the goodness of God. Cause all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so Closer like no other. I've known you as a father, I've known you as a friend, and I have lived the goodness of God. See it again, I love your voice, and I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in the darkest night. You are closer like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of God. Cause all my life you have been faithful. And all my so good with every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God and all my life you have been faithful and all my life you have been so so of God Yes I will sing of the goodness of God Yes I will sing of your goodness my God I will sing of your goodness, my God. Yes, I will sing of your goodness, my God. I will sing of your goodness, my God. I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your faithfulness to me. Yes, I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your faithfulness to me. Yes, I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your faithfulness to me. Yes, I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your faithfulness to me. Yes, I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your faithfulness to me. Yes, I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your faithfulness to me. Yes, I will sing of your goodness. 
darkness is running after, keeps running after me. With my life named out, surrender now. With my life laid down, I surrender now. As our lives laid down, we surrender now. As my life's laid down, I surrender now. As my life's laid down, so I surrender now. As my life's laid down, I surrender now. As my life's laid down, I surrender now to give you everything. Cause your goodness is running after, running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. God can be called off 
Father. No other God can be called a friend. No other God can be called redeemer. No other God's coming back again. How
as well work on your glorious face. Yes, our eyes will work on this glorious face. Our eyes will glorious face Our eyes will see you riding on the cloud We prophesy the night the truth of you Jesus Truth and justice will prevail, and our eyes will look upon, look upon your glorious face. We'll see you riding on the clouds, with justice coming soon. see you riding on the clouds we will see you riding on the clouds and we will see your glorious face this glorious face
take rest in you, our refuge. We take rest in you, our refuge. We all look to you, our refuge. And we will rest in you. So every need we have is met. We rest in that tonight, God. We trust in you. Thank you for coming and being with us tonight. We ask for more. More of you as we go out of this building tonight, as we rest tonight, that a peace that passes all our understanding will envelop our lives. Every aspect. We give it to you right now, God. Say, have your way. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done right here on earth as it is in heaven. Find us here, God, your faithful servants. And give more, more, more of your, your spirit and more of your presence. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Great. 